Hello there, I am John Cole with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Secret Cards for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we took on a weird guy, and he was part of the Ghouls, which is like the main pro antagonist in this game. And we also battled, we also t <laughs> dueled Vex, I should say. And we got a cool card. I think I may have added it to my deck, I think I may have not. Um, I think I haven't made, I've, I don't think I've added it to my deck yet. Or maybe I have. Well, the cost is uh, 95, right? So, do I have 95 deck capacity? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Flame Viper. Okay, cool. So now I hope I can have enough room to put um, the other card in. Yeah, there we go. That's the only really air that I really want to make right now, I guess. So here's Joey, one of your friends. So let's talk to him. Yo, Steven. How, hey, I did it, man. I wasted no time getting my first located card. Well, I have three located cards that I've earned, that I've received, or, yeah, received in, as a reward, and I was given one, of course, from the start, but, you know, whatever. How's it going for you, Steven? Tch, I'd, I'd be so off, to, uh, I've been so off the mark. I need to work harder to stay until the finals. So, yeah, so we have, like, yeah, we have three located cards that we've gotten from other duels. Let's duel, um, Joey, I guess. Sure, let's do it. Let's spar. So, um, I'm gonna go by cost, I guess. Uh, I guess I can do the snake hair thing again, yeah. Yeah, let's just do that. Use the cells anti. Because I don't want to do Jinzo. And, uh, Joey actually wins Jinzo, Jinzo in the actual show, but for some reason, since we're the main character, you know, obviously, we get all the cool stuff. <laughs> so, um, let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, man. Let's attack his face down card. There we go. That's a Mooka Mooka. And I'll end my turn. It's his turn again. He'll put a card in defense face down, okay? Let's see here. I'll put, um, Frog the Jam, and I'll attack. Wait, no, I'll just try to do that. Yeah, there we go. That way, I can attack his life points directly and have like 100 more life points of damage there, I guess. Because 700 against uh, is better than 600, I guess, in that case. So, I think I... Yeah, I'm going to have my turn there. I can't do anything really else. Okay, but he's going to put another card face down. Um, I'll just... um, Yeah, I'll do this. There we go. And again, attack his life points directly. And I'll end my turn there. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna Frog of Jam. We'll attack his face down card. There we go. And that way, the other two cards can do their do their stuff. And I'll end my turn there. Okay, let's see here. What can I sacrifice? Oh, I got Pumpkin King of Ghosts. Okay, so let's do um. I'll tribute this card and send out Pumpkin King of Ghosts. And then we'll do Frog Jam. There we go. And then there we go. Yeah, I think you can only ask one more turn, but you never know. I do believe he has Red Eyes and his Red Eyes Black Dragon in his deck, so you gotta watch out for that. T to be honest, you know, you never know what'll happen. Okay, and that should be the end for Joey, because we beat him. He's actually really easy. So always the first time you battle, I try to do him. I guess we, I think we do him again later on. I could be wrong. Yeah, we he's out of life points. Victory. Yeah, uh, deck capacity increased only by five, and five hundred dominoes will retain. I thought since he was a main character, he'd give us a little bit, at least, like a little bit more of a boost, like thirty. But I guess since it's a, like a quick do, I guess it's okay. Oh, okay. Um, armored lizard. It has really, it has fifteen hundred attack and twelve hundred defense. It's a water summon, and it's a reptile as its type. Uh, my duelist level is uh, too low for this, but I'll just consider it for the future, I guess. Darn, I lost. Well, it's good that it's only you. Of course. What do you mean by that? I'll, I better get rolling. I need to make up ground against you. See you later, Steven. My dog kind of just, like, shaked and, like, you know how they, like, whenever they're wet, they like, kind of shake and, uh, they, like, do the shaking thing. Like, it's, I don't, it's hard to explain. I don't even know why. Let's talk to Taya. It looks like you're doing well. Enjoy while well, he's having a rough time. It'd be nice if all three of you will make the finals. That's Taya, by the way, another main character, best friend of Yugi, enjoying all them. You make, you may save the game at your own house. 
You may save the game at your house, own house, Steven. Face the PC at your desk and press the A button. I've already shown that off at least twice. Uh, maybe I intentionally only waited, only wanted to show off once, but I, mean, I just to double check. I, I double checked, I guess, to make sure I did that. Are you a regular here? Is this place is that is this place really that Yugi's house? I really mad to him. He, Yugi's so cool. Yeah, you're making other people feel bad by saying that, you know? Putting other people down, putting their self-esteem down. So, what I want to do next is I want to actually show off the map here. If you go to the far left right there at the Clock Tower Square, you can actually move around that map. So, there's, par there's the park, there's the Clock Tower Square, there's the card shop, and this one should be the library, if I can get down to that. Thank you, okay, the art museum, I mean, not the library. I'm going to show off the card shop first. So, if you go up to the card shop, you can uh, talk to the guy at the desk, and I'll say, Welcome, we have a fine selection of cards, well, let's buy some. Let's see, I have, um, I have 8,426 domino, okay. So let's see, what's, what, it, no, I didn't mean to buy that off the bat. What did I just accidentally buy? Jeez, that better be a good card. Miss. Okay, I can't even use this card and I accidentally bought it. That's gotta suck. It's gotta suck. I mean, it's a light type, so eventually I can put in my deck, but its attack is just not good. And its defense is okay, decent, but like its attack is 800 and its its cost is 130, 319. I might as well sell this card. I don't, I really don't see me using it right now. At least, I'm gonna sell it. Sell. So, yeah, I don't get all my domino back, but I get half. Dang it, that sucks. Okay, my mistake. Man, I didn't want that, man. You, you press, you double tap A really fast, you can accidentally buy stuff when you don't want to. Okay, so this is a wind type. Uh, my phone dinged again, dang it. Um, I don't know about that one. Let's, let's organize this by a uh, cost, I guess. Okay, that's too high. Okay, so let's go down the line here. Do less too high. Okay, I have to go down some more. Uh, details. Um, my door level is still low. Oh my gosh, down some more. The door of Oh my gosh, this is so bad. If I can't. What the heck? How? Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I can't even buy some of these top cards. Okay, I can like buy from this. Let's see here. Um, I'm trying to think here. No, none of these are really cool. None of them are really catching my eye. Larvis. I could use the Larvis. I'll buy a Larvis, I guess. I'll buy two. I accidentally bought two Larvises. Dang it. Well, I guess two Larvises wouldn't hurt. None of these are really catching my eye. I don't see anything cool. The details on this. I'm thinking about buying Meteor Dragon. I'm just go and buy this. Hmm. I think I want to buy um twin long rods again or one of them. Yeah. Um, it's so weird. I'm trying to find a good card, I guess. Sky Dragon. This cost is really low. Um, how much is it though? Cost? I know. 
I guess I can buy one of them. Yeah. Skill. Skill gone? Nope. Okay. Um, I'm still looking, really. Pot of greed. I might want to buy another pot of greed just in case. I'm gonna buy the stock hole. Another one just having my deck, I guess. Okay, what was that other card I wanted to buy? It goes up here somewhere. I think I want to buy this one. Yeah, because let's go. Let's go kind of go to electric type. Um, well, it's a good card I wanted to hear that I was thinking about buying, but I can't find it now. I think that's all I wanted to buy for now, so I'm just gonna keep at that. Leave it at that. I mean, so I'm gonna. If you go back to this card, this um, machine back here, it says prisoner eight to pa eight digit password. So, um, I didn't see a blue eyes white dragon in there being sold, but here's a way you can get any card you want as long as it has a code on the bottom of the card. Now, I know that, uh, blue eyes white dragon's code is, it's 8989631111 and 39. So yeah, and then press OK, and then there's blue eyes. So yeah, the cost is really low. It's only 95. A legendary dragon that takes pride in enormous power. It's, it's enormous power. Its powers of destruction far exceed comprehension. It has 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. So that's pretty good. It's a level 1, 2, let me count the stars actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Level 8 monster and it's pretty good. So if you go back to the, um, talk to the guy at the counter. Um, and you just want to say bye again, and you'll see uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon will be there. So yeah, um, I'm gonna buy one of these things. I want to actually buy two of them. No, I don't. okay, I'm gonna enter the code again, I guess. Yeah, so six three. No mind, no, that was the wrong one. Okay, so hold on, we try that again. Eight nine six three. One one three nine. Yeah, there we go. Got another blue eyes, and hopefully it'll be. It'll show up again. There we go. Yeah, let's buy it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me buy, let me buy a third one just to be ca in case, you know, because Kaiba, you know, on the show, I always had three, so I might as well get three if I still have the money for it, you know. So let me try that. Eight three nine six one one. Three, nine. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'll have 4,000 left. Okay, that's still good. So I got three boys white dragons now. Now let's try to have some fun and... Dang, I mean do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Okay, so let's try to have some fun and just put in random numbers. Okay, that didn't work. I think it's a certain... There's so many codes, so might, some of these might not be right. Yeah, it sounds like they'll be wrong. Okay, never mind. We had our fun with just jamming bushing buttons there for a second. Okay, whatever. So, 
Let's see here. Let's, be, let's go to trunk again. I'm gonna usually make a swap out because you know, sword of armor, sword of arm dragon is 95 cost right here, as you see right here. So I'm gonna switch out that. So, and then put in one of my blue eyes. Let's see if I can make any other changes to my deck real quick. Oh yeah, hold on. I have to act um, actually I've put in other cards too. So let me see here. Let's put ranges by attack then. Okay, let's see here. Bone mouse, no. No. And no. Well, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's see. Now let's see, um, if I attack again. Let me see here. I'm gonna put you in there. I'm gonna put you in there. I'm gonna put a Livus in there. I think I want two Livuses though, honestly. So let me see if I can... Uh, what I do? Didn't want to do that. Okay, let's see here. Let's go down to the... This section again. Wait, what does this do again? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, there we go. Get the other Warvis. There we go. And my deck capacity is 1,684 out of uh, over 1,740. So I'll just keep it like that. I have blue eyes too. I have two blue eyes in my deck, or maybe I have just one. Um, I forget. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Either way, dang it! I'm trying to think of. Oh, let's go to the art museum. That's where I want to go to. Okay, so let me see here. Trunk. One of them. Yeah, I just have one blue eyes. Let me see if I can actually change that. 25, okay, I want to keep that then. I want to keep it that. Let's do it by cost, because that's what I want to do. Um, do the thing by. I want two Livuses though. I'm gonna put Sky Dragon in there actually. Can I put another Blue Eyes in there? I don't think I can, but we can try. Yes, we can. Awesome. I'll just have two Blue Eyes in my deck for now. So, that's good enough for me. Let's take on uh this guy. I think I forget his name, but he is also like a minor character in this uh, show. I think. Okay, sure. Let me try out some. Is my game plan? Okay, I forgot to talk to him first. But what he says is he woke up late for the tournament. He's kind of got a late start. So yeah, I'm gonna put this up for anti. I want to. I don't want to anti up. I want. I don't want to put an anti up for my um one of my blue eyes. I don't want to do that honestly. Cause if I lose, you know, that'd be that suck. Okay, let's put um the twin long roads and end my turn, yeah. Okay, I forgot I can put dark hole and I can put Yeah, let's attack this guy. Yeah, there we go. And then that way twin long rods can do that. And yeah, turn end. Okay. Let's go put another card in defense mode, okay. There we go. Awesome. I'm gonna attack his life points again. Okay, it's my turn again. Let's attack this. Ah, oh, dang it. Tie. There we go. Okay. 
And I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna sacrifice that car on the far, card on the far right. There, oh, I'm gonna need a destroy. Dang it. Okay. So let's see here. We got. Do that. Okay. Um. Um, tribute. There we go. We barely beat that by a hundred attack points. And then tech is yeah. There we go. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. That's good. Pumpkin King of Ghosts. See how many life points does he have left? One thousand eight hundred. Well, we can definitely do it in this. I think we can. Just in case, um, I'm gonna tribute this guy, put in Pumpkin King and Ghost. Yeah. There we go. That that works, I guess. We worked it. It could have worked out differently, but we did beat him, so that's good. To a victory, your Kitex must be increased by 5 because he's only a minor character. 3000 Domino was obtained. The Portrait Secret was obtained. So, yeah. It's a fiend type, uh, summon his earth, cost is 180, although we, it's a decent card, but we can't use it because our duelist level right now is uh, too low. So yeah. Arg, I guess I need to prepare to prepare to get a little a bit, a bit better. After all, you've you've been winning your way up. I've, I'll have the part, I'll have to put more thought into my deck. And that you will, I guess, to get better, I guess, so that's good. So let's go back to, um. I'll actually go to the park here. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that, jeez. Okay, so this has been my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance Let's Play Part. And next part, we'll take on the park and see what this, what this creepy mind's doing here. Because he looks really creepy and stuff. So this has been Jango again. I was the Finch again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next part my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards GBA Let's Play.